In 1994, I was vacationing in the area and I noticed that there was no church in all of Cape Coral, a city of 100,000 people. Now it's up to 160,000 people. And it, God put that idea in my mind that uh, there should be a church here. And uh, over many, many years, uh, the idea just grew inside me until finally the right time came. Right away when people started coming to the church, uh, new people especially, we started a series of small groups where people could get incorporated into the body of Christ, be nurtured, cared for, and watched over in a good way. So I think that's a very important part of uh, church planting, church growth, is that people feel at ease and that they're welcomed and that they're physically welcomed by handshakes and hugging, and it's a tremendous experience. We met in the morning and in the evening, we came back to do a Revelation seminar. We did the Revelation seminars strategically planned because we knew that the Revelation seminar tends to draw people who are already spiritually uh, minded. And we knew that as a young church, we would need leadership. And it worked exactly because many of the people that came in through the Revelation seminars are now leaders in our church and are the ones providing nurturing care to the people that we have here. We began to develop quickly, and uh, while we were at the school, uh, things were, were moving along, but uh, we knew that that would not last forever. Lo and behold, we have somebody from out of town come, and the Lord must have sent them there because they promised to give us a large sum of money. And we were able to then take that money as our down payment and be off to the races looking for a property. And then, to our surprise, this property that we had tried to buy before but could not because we didn't have any money was still on the market. But in the meantime, it had been going down and down and down in value. I was in my devotional time and the Lord said to me, speak to so-and-so and they will purchase it for you. And we were able to purchase this property at a great discount. Within a year, another donor came through and through some match money, we were able to pay it off entirely. We felt that was a, a great miracle. But evidently our growth, the Lord did not want us to stop. And uh, even with the wonderful building that we have now, God sent us another opportunity to grow. In an act of faith, I challenged the people that in the next couple of years, we were going to work on starting a new facility that would seat up to 400 people. And that would mean not only giving, but also working to help build the kingdom of the people. And so a lot of education would go on seminars on how to witness, how to share your faith, how to give Bible studies, knowing your spiritual gifts, how to pray. People love getting together for prayer when it's done with interest and with focus and with spirituality. And there's great power in that. Having public meetings, having small group meetings, having them in the homes, providing nurture for your people, and preaching that reaches their hearts and educates their minds at the same time. This is what's driven this church and filled us with the power of the Holy Spirit to get to this place. We give God the glory and the grace for all that he's done. And we're happy that we can be a part of his kingdom here in Cape Coral.